What's going on? Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back, more tech and more reviews, and we're still talking about iPad OS 16. And this time from the title, you can tell we're gonna be still working with Stage Manager on this external monitor. So I got a lot of questions and I'm trying to get all those kind of like put in order and get you guys a video out like by mid next week of my complete thoughts on everything that we've seen so far. But for today's question, um, we talked about gaming on this whole stage manager, external monitor. I can assure you that it's coming. When, we don't know. But a lot of people were saying, oh, all you have to do is change your display settings and change the orientation. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you basically the only display options that you have for this. So let's jump right into it. All right, so yesterday I did a quick video of just talking about do you do you have to have it open on the Magic Keyboard for it to work and will it work off of the Magic Keyboard? Well, I can tell you right now that since it is a beta, it was buggy and every time I disconnected mine from my Magic Keyboard, it would shut down. But right now you see my Magic Keyboard is in my hand, no iPad is connected and we're working. iPad is back here on a stand. If you need a good stand, I'm gonna give you some recommendations down below. One that I actually really recommend is from the company Moft. It's a really nice foldable stand. I've done a full review on this, so this is a great stand. And the one that I have back there is very minimalistic also from Subcase. I'll drop links below so you can check those out. Um, if you like bigger stands, I do have some of those, so we'll talk about that later on. And you may see some of those in the video, but let's jump right into this. I don't wanna hold you too long. All right, so the display. When you are trying to change anything in here. But let's just take a look right at the screen. All right, so as you can see, we are still using iPad over here on a stand, and we got to connect it to my Samsung M8. I will be doing some stuff on some other monitors. I do have a few more in this room, so we'll be testing out some gaming monitors just to see how it really works, and I think you're gonna be surprised at how those gaming monitors work. So if you come into your settings, and we're just gonna pull that up and let's see, we're gonna make it full screen. And when you make settings full screen, this is the actual screen that you are going to get. So let's do this and we'll just go down to display and brightness. Now within display and brightness, no matter what display you have, it is going to show up right here on this monitor. So right now we have the built-in retina display, which is actually controlling the iPad over here. And then we have, let's go back, we have the Samsung display, which is controlling this device right here. And these are the only real display options that you get other than the screen arrangement. So you can actually change how your screen is arranged. If you wanna be able to swipe, pull up from your iPad and go into your monitor, or if your, monitor, your iPad is sitting over to the left, or if you wanna come down to go into that different monitor, they do have a full array of arrangement settings that you can come in here and customize. Other thing that I like is you can allow the display mode changes. Now, what that means is when this is on, the display mode will change to match the dynamic range and frame rate of the content that you're viewing. So they do tell you that this may cause some kind of flickering on the screen, but basically what it's saying is if you got a 4K screen, it's gonna display at 4K. Um, then you got the display zoom. Now, one thing I really liked about this was you have a zoomed, a standard, and a more space. Right now I have mine on more space because I just like the minimalistic look. But if you do zoomed, let's see how these apps look. So we're gonna do zoomed, it's gonna do its thing, and let's uh, boom, hit that. And if you make it full screen now, it kind of goes in this weird mode. And But you can notice the apps down bottom got a lot bigger. So in that zoomed version, it's going to get a lot bigger. And let's just open notes. And the app tray disappears because in Stage Manager, I have the app tray 
disappearing. There we go. And it comes back when you go to the bottom. So I really like that feature. It gives you more screen display. It makes you feel like at least you have more screen to work with. And like I said, this is in the zoomed mode. Now you do have, let's uh, close this out. You do have the standard mode. And if you come back in here, boom, boom. There we go. That is now in standard mode. And if you close this out, your apps basically go back to the normal setting. But I find that on, I like the fact that you can customize this because when you're on a larger monitor, when you got a larger display, you can use that zoom. Now let's close this out and we're gonna come back down here and go out of there, out of there. So you can actually change the display zoom on both devices. That's one thing that I like about the external display and stage manager is that you can customize those display zooms for the iPad and for the actual monitor separately. The built-in display, whatever monitor you have connected and the arrangement, are all the setting changes that you can have for the display. All right, so just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention because a lot of people thought that with the gaming, you could just go in and change a, a setting, but it's not able to do that. It's still beta and we've been talking about beta the whole time. We know that it's buggy. We know that everything is not quite right yet. But as soon as we get full screen gaming on an external monitor with Stage Manager, you'll be the first ones to know. Like I said, I got a couple of more monitors in here and I'm gonna be trying some things out. We're gonna be trying out some um, HDR screens and things like that, so stay tuned. Um, this one, I don't have the original cable connected, so it didn't give me a HDR signal. So I'm gonna find that original cable and then we're gonna get it connected and we're gonna see if we can achieve that true HDR uh, on this device. But for now, that has been today's update for iPad OS 16. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out and until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech out, peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.